number 14 for you. And uh, we'll rattle through the lineup for you. So, uh, riders uh, up at tapes. So, Anders Thompson coming here in, uh, in uh, Denmark. That's a replacement. Jason Doyle will come out of gate number two for Australia. Gate number three for Ty Wuffenden and Great Britain. And Matze Janowski for Poland going from the outside. Anders Thompson coming in here to replace uh, Nicky Pedersen. So, uh, once again, uh, Henrik Müller and Nicky Pedersen, joint team managers, have made the change. Thompson looking for better form now. Certainly, uh, Denmark have got better in the latter races, that's for sure. Wuffenden looking for points this time as well, after failing to score last time. Here we go then, tapes up. Doyle's made a great start from gate number two. He hits the front. Ty Wuffenden electing to go very, very wide in that first corner and relegates to the back. Matze Janovsic coming through into third place. Anders Thompson there hanging on in second place. This World Cup, you just can't predict it. Wow, it's so fabulous out in front. Now Doyle here hits the front. Oh, it's gone wide, overlooks the bike. That allows Anders Thompson to. Can Doyle straight line? Yes, he can. Wonderful speedway here. Unbelievable there. Doyle's gone wide. Thompson jumping back to the inside. Bars himself back to the front. Ty Doyle's done well to hang on. He has, and Anders Thompson, oh! yeah, he's got that bite hooking up, but Jason Doyle's coming back at him. Anders Thompson has to get out of the way. He knows he's got to, otherwise he's going down. And now Janoski's joining the party on the inside. Doyle has just cut him off there. And now Anders Thompson, can he get a run around the outside? Jason Doyle now under a huge threat from Anders Thompson. Doyle's ridden so well here. It's been a fabulous speedway race, no doubt about that. And Jason Doyle and Australia, he hangs on. Denmark in second place. These two teams were out of it earlier on. Now all of a sudden they're dominating the Swedeway World Cup. Jason Doyle played a captain's role there. Absolutely inspiring race that was. What a breathtaking race that was. That was Speedway, international Speedway at the top draw. That really was. And Ty Wolfen missed out there. Jason Doyle, three points for Australia. Anders Thompson coming in there for Denmark, picks up two points. Matze Janowski in third for Poland. And Ty Wolfenden misses out for the second time this evening. Now, that is a surprise. But for Jason Doyle, a stunning ride for Australia. And look at it now. Look at it now. It's crazy. It, it is unbelievable what's happening here this evening, everybody. This is some world final we've got for you. 23 points for Poland. 22. There's just nothing in it. Yeah, all the talk coming into this meeting was just how even these teams were. And it did look like at one point early doors that Australia and Denmark were out of it. It was going to come down to Great Britain and Poland. It's gone upside down now, as we can see in this race. Australia out front and Anders Thompson coming in and uh, grabs two big points for Denmark. Janoski was trying so hard. We haven't seen this sort of racing from Janoski in the Grand Prix, and he needs to find that. But uh, Jason Doyle so determined up the inside. Look how tight he's gone. He's uh, run into that corner so tight. Anders Thompson did the right thing. He had to get out of the way because uh, there was no stopping Jason Doyle there. No, totally committed to hitting the front and uh, managed to do so. Um, uh, it was breathtaking speedway there in heat number 14. Exactly what we want to see in a World, uh, World Cup final.